Hello everyone, welcome to the TriStar Gym channel. Today we're going to be looking at the suplex into Dars, a beautiful move that I like to do a lot. It's a beautiful combination because it brings you right into submission. Okay, so not only are you taking the guy down, you're finishing the guy immediately. I got a lot of requests for this uh, breakdown and um, it took me a while to get it up, but uh, here it is. And um, when you guys request moves, don't worry, I'm keeping a list of them all and uh, I'm going to get to them eventually bit by bit. Okay, so here's a replay of this move. I'm going to snap him down, get into a front headlock, a very common jiu-jitsu position and wrestling position. I'm going to stuff his head with my body, suplex him right into Dars. Okay, so let's take a quick look here at how this is done. So right here, I'm going to snap my partner down and watch here. Here, my partner, his head is not covered. Okay, so if his head is not covered, I can guillotine him. You know, his head is not covered, but he could also duck under. He could also double leg me if he's very strong. He could also arm drag me, etc. He's a, he has a lot of options. Okay, so I'm going to stuff that head to make sure this guy doesn't get out from underneath me. Okay, I want to make sure he stays on the bottom and that uh, I'm able to uh, maintain my grips. So here I'm pressing my hips forward. I'm covering his head. I'm going to drive my hips forward and suplex him. Okay, but before we get into that, take a look at my grip here. Very important. I'm closing this gap here. There must be no space. If there's any space whatsoever, like I said, he could duck under, he could turn into a waist lock, he could turn into a double leg, he could do all sorts of stuff, okay? Making sure you get a good look at my grip here. Look how I'm grabbing my, my grip. This grip, you can use different type of grips, okay? But this is just a really good one. So if, you, if you're not sure what kind of grips you like to use, try this one out, it'll work for you beautifully, okay? So once I cover his head with my body and I get to my grip, watch here, I'm gonna drive my hips here, change my level, compress his head down towards his body and look at this my hips when I suplex him my hips must stay off the ground okay if my hips touch the ground and I, every time I show this I show this to black belts wrestlers a lot of them most people will put their hips down okay you got to be very careful do not put your hips down or else the guy can turn and get on top of you okay if I have my hips in the air like this there's no chance of this guy getting back on top of me I'm just gonna hip heist one more time and go right into my Dars, okay? No details on Dars for this video. We'll be seeing that in future videos. But right now we're seeing how to control the front headlock and make sure this guy doesn't break free. There's a suplex again. I'm just gonna rewind that real quick here. Look at the hips, look at the landing here. Very important stuff. Look at the landing. Hips are off the mat. You can see the hips are off the mat. I'm, I, my back never touches the ground. And that's why I'm gonna get on top first. And this guy has zero, he has like, less than 5% chance of getting away or getting or scrambling away, okay? Because my weight is up high and my hips are not on the ground. I'm gonna get on top of him immediately, okay? So here we go again. I have my grip, I have a front headlock. I'm gonna cover his head. Use hip power here, use hip power. Watch this. I'm gonna cover his head. Use your hip power to, to drive him forward. Look how my hips are gonna drive him forward. It's gonna be real easy. Watch here, I'm compressing, I'm changing level, I'm compressing, I'm using my hips. You might think my hips are gonna touch the ground. Watch, no, they won't touch the ground. No, nope, they're up off the ground, okay? Your hips do not touch the ground. You're not pulling guard, okay? You're suplexing. And look at the height here, you see. Thank you uh, to uh, Silver Fox BJJ for the shorts. Very much appreciated. Back arch. I'm not on the ground right now. Only my opponent's on the ground. And if, you, if my back was on the ground here, my opponent could hip heist. He could rotate and we end up back in front headlock position. I don't want to give this guy a chance to get back to front headlock position. Okay, so watch this. Look how my body has elevation. I rotate right into uh, Anaconda. This time I went to Anaconda because I threw him on the other side of my body. Okay, you could suplex to Darks, you could suplex to Anaconda. Here I'm uh, telling my partner um, the traditional, uh, a common escape is he's going to try to walk backwards. See here? Watch, he's trying to walk backwards and break free. Now, now here's a very important concept when you have front headlock. Watch here, oftentimes, excuse me, oftentimes your opponent is trying to move backwards, okay, and you're pulling in the other direction. Oftentimes we want to snap our partner down and go behind, okay, I'll be doing snap downs to go behinds in the future. But look, we're pulling in opposite forces. This is a mistake, you know, because it's a mistake only if my grip is flimsy. If, my, if I don't feel like I have a strong grip, I need to go and support that grip. My grip in here, if it's weak, it's going to break. I'm pulling in one direction, he's pulling in another and then we're gonna disconnect, okay? So I wanna make sure we don't disconnect. He's pulling back. This is why I love this maneuver. I'm gonna move forward now. So watch this. Instead of break, a lot, giving him a chance to break free, watch, I'm pulling in an opposite direction. I'm realizing my grip is a little bit weak here. Watch what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna change direction as he's trying to pull away. 
and hop right over his head. And now we're both driving in the same direction. Watch this. I'm going to start driving my hips forward so our arrows are aligned. Okay, so he's pulling back and I'm driving forward. And now there's no escape for him. Okay, it enforces my grip. So what I'm doing is I'm holding him with my body and I'm not allowing him to put pressure on my grip. I'm driving the same direction. There go the hips. Look at that. Hips don't touch the ground. Right into a suplex. He's not able to get up. You saw he tried to roll to his knees. Not able to. Beautiful darts right there waiting for him if he tries to invert the other way. All right, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And um, I'm going to be showing you here one last time live. Here it is. Cover the head. Pop it up. If you guys liked, enjoyed the video, please share, like, and all that good stuff, and I'll see you in the next episode. Thank you.